people that have allergies tend to have lower rates of certain types of cancer specifically certain forms of skin cancer and some gliomas. And one of the theories, we don't know why, I mean, it could just be correlation and not causation, but one of the theories is perhaps someone who's allergic actually has a really strong immune system. I think there's this idea that people with allergies are weak or somehow maladaptive, and actually they have incredibly strong immune systems that are just responding to the wrong stimulus. And so their bodies might be able to spot cancerous cells more quickly and more aggressively because they're already primed to respond, if that makes sense. Yeah. Hi, my name is Dr. Rubin. I'm a board-certified allergist. There are several epidemiologic studies looking at the potential relationship between having allergies and the development of certain cancers later in life, but the data is all over the place. Some studies do report that if you have allergies, there may be a lower risk of developing some types of cancers, but other studies show that you may end up having a higher risk of developing other types of cancers, and some studies report that the relationship is a bit inconclusive. And this may be due to the fact that the development of allergic diseases as well as cancer is a very complicated interplay between the genetics that you inherit from your parents as well as various environmental factors that we don't fully understand at this time. The allergic immune response may end up helping to protect you against cancer by improving its ability to surveil cancer cells and kill them quickly, but at the same time, you are having chronic inflammation that may end up increasing the risk of developing other types of cancers. Regardless, I do agree that if you have an allergic disease, it does not necessarily mean that you are weak and that stereotype needs to go away.